And then for now, let's just do some lazy truncating of this text. So let's actually come back over here and let's go to our blog.svelte and let's get rid of this HTML for now. We don't need that. But let's come here and on our body, let's do a sub string and let's start at the zeroth character and just go for 300 characters. Truncate that and save that. Then come back over here and let's reload this. Okay, so now we're getting a, a shorter bit here. Um, we probably would want to do something with actually separating this out so you don't get this kind of garbled thing here. And you also, you don't want to show any style either, so we don't really want to render this HTML. Now, to get rid of this HTML here, we could try something like this over here on this CSS Tricks website. We could come and try to replace this HTML information. So let's come here and let's actually just add this on to the end here, see if that strips out what we need, and we'll save that. Come back over, and let's reload our blog page. Okay, so it stripped that out, so now we're just getting the paragraph uh, without any style, but without the HTML tags, and then the rest of the information. Good, good enough for now, okay, so now let's take a look at some of the style for some of these links and things like that. So let's come back over here and let's look at these links. Let's inspect the element here. So post title, let's grab this here. And let's come over here and down in our style, let's add this information. And let's reload that. So that's getting closer. Then we have some text decoration, none declarations here. Let's do that as well. And reload ours. Okay. Oh, there is some color here, so let's do a hover. So hover does this, we'll grab that, and we'll add that as well. And just save. Let's come back over here, reload. Okay, so the color's changing, although I think, let's uh, take this hover off real quick. So it does have that ease in, so I think that's what we're getting right here with this transition. So let's grab this transition, we'll, we'll add that as well. And we could probably combine some of these styles, but just for sake of being quick, let's just leave them as they are. So there's no button or select, you can see this spelt throwing some errors here. So that will get shaken out of this component since it's not on this component. This is probably something we should be doing globally, but I'm gonna leave it here for now and just uh, so we can move forward. And let's come over here and let's reload this. Okay, so you see it kind of fades in now. That's better, okay. Great, and that goes to blue, but we don't want to go to blue. We want this behavior to happen. So let's inspect that as well. So we have that href. Let's hover it. And let's see what we got here. So we want something like this. Copy that. And I think this might be the same effect they're using on the home page, which I'm not sure if we got that exactly right. Let's see. Oh no, I guess we have it there. Uh oh, no, sorry, that's that's their home page. Let's look at our home page. And let's reload this. Okay, so that goes to blue. So we really want that to happen globally. So let's go back over here to our global styles. And let's add another global style here. And that can go like that. Okay. Let's try this. And closer. Okay, so it looks like these pseudo elements here are adding that different size. So you can see the height and the width change here. 
So let's just copy this. And we'll put that over here as well. Okay, save that. And let's come back over here and reload this one more time. And we have to add this element here. So we need to get this before pseudo attribute. So they're, they're defining the content for this right here. So let's just grab this as well and copy that. And let's put this over here. Now hopefully we have that style coming through. So let's take a look here and reload. Okay, so now those links are growing. Okay, good, good. So this is getting a lot closer.